Hi, I'm Todd Soans. I'm coming to you from our golf school located at White Deer Run Golf Club in Vernon Hills, Illinois. In our scoring zone program, one of the things we try to teach people is how to control the trajectory of their shots around the green. When you're on the golf course, there's certain situations where you need to hit a, a high, soft shot, and then there's certainly times where you need to get the ball lower, hit it on the green, get it to stop a little sooner, and sometimes you want the ball to release. So our goal when someone comes to our scoring zone program is to teach them how do you control your trajectory and the spin on the golf ball. Now most people know when they want to hit a lower shot to play the ball back in their stance. So that's obvious. Put the ball back in your stance. That helps to deal off the golf clubs. But here's the real secret to hitting low shots. When you take the club back, it's more of a bowing action with your lead wrist which keeps the toe of the club down. Or sometimes I tell people, make sure the face of the golf club stays toward the golf ball. It's more of a bowing action. That de-lofts the golf club, so when I come into it, the shaft is leaning forward, the face is de-lofted, it'll trap the golf ball, it'll come out low. If you use a 60 degree wedge and hit this shot off a tight lie, it'll come out low and it'll actually have some spin on it. If you used a pitching wedge or a nine iron, it'll actually hit and then release a little bit more. So you can change golf clubs depending on what you want the spin to be on the golf ball. But again, the trajectory, the lower trajectory, ball back, bow the left wrist, toe down. So if I demonstrate that, it would look like this. Ball back in my stance, keep the left wrist bowed, trap the golf ball, and it comes out low with a little more spin on it if you use an L wedge. Now, if I want to hit a higher shot, I'm going to move the ball more forward in my stance. So I always say stand to the handle, the butt of the golf club points at my middle, the shaft of the golf club is straight, so now the ball's more forward in my stance. But here's the secret to this shot. When you take the club back, it's more of a cupping action. If I cut my left wrist, now the toe of the golf club's up in the air, which puts more loft on the face. So if I deliver the golf club from that position, I'm going to hit a much higher trajectory shot. Same golf club, completely different trajectories by changing the ball position and understanding what the left wrist and face of the golf club should be in relation to the golf ball. These tips will really help you to understand how to control your trajectory around the green. And if you can do that, you can start getting close to the hole and getting up and down.